Okay, here we have uh, some revision going all the way back to September for year nine. First topic was straight line graphs. Okay, what we got here? So we've got two straight lines, L1, L2, are shown on the grid. Right down the coordinates of the point where L1 and L2 meet. So they meet here. Uh, remember with your coordinates, we're in brackets. We go across first. So that's at negative 3. And then we go up. So what we've got is negative 3, 2. Great. Right, write down the equations of the line. So L1. L1 is this um, line going across here. Now, first of all, we can see that it is going through y equals 2. So the uh, that's actually the name of the line, y equals 2. So if you've got a horizontal line going straight across, look at the number on the y-axis that it's going through, and that's the equation of it. And it's very similar for um, the L2, which is a vertical line. And this is going up and down, and you can see that going through the x-axis, it's going through uh, x is negative 3, so that is the equation of the line, x equals minus 3. Let's go over to this one. So, complete the table of values for y equals 3x plus 2. When I do anything like this, I know that at 0, the, um, the value will be uh, 2. That's the constant and I could substitute values in, but in fact, for a straight line graph, I now know that uh, this number here, the number in front of x, the coefficient of x, is 3. And that tells me that the gradient is 3. So essentially, this uh, is going up by 3 and goes back by 3. So if I, um, if I start at 2, if I add 3, I get 5 and 8. If I take 3, I've got minus 1, minus 4. And they are, um, it's that easy really. So 0, 2, 1, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, and then draw your line straight through. Okay, so that's that question. Great. Let's get rid of the ruler. Uh, and then finally on this, uh, let's write down the gradient of each line segment. Um, first of all, with, the, uh, with this one on the left-hand side, we need to know the size um, of, of essentially this triangle that's drawn. And this triangle here is going three high. Um, and actually, from this point, it's also going three across. Now, the thing with this is, it's how you look at it, but it's going downwards, so it's got a negative gradient. We do the y value divided by the x value, and three divided by three, the gradient is negative one. With the one on the right, I can see it's a positive gradient. It is going up by 1 and across by 3. So the gradient is 1 over 3, which is a third. So remember, it's the y value divided by the x value when you have them like this.